Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. All right, so I've been doing a lot of cleansing. <laughs> cleansing, girl. Like with the juice and smoothies and stuff. Uh, since I've been back, well, actually before I left, I started with the meditation thing. Um, like every morning, like I used to. I sound this week, I'm throwing a yoga with it. <sighs> girl, listen, I've been maintaining now the weight. And I maintained a little few pounds I did lose. But this time, we're on a mission, girl. She got 90 down days to get her stuff in order for this trip I'm planning. And I have an event to go to. So... I said that to say, I'm trying not to drink as much coffee. I am allowing myself my one coffee in the morning because I don't know she's not so friendly in the morning without it. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm not going to lie to you. I get some coffee in me. It's like, hey, girl, hey, good morning. How you doing? Good morning. I don't have coffee. I'm like, hey. Mm. I know it's the caffeine. It's addiction. So anyway. I have some teas. I told you all about some teas from the um, the Hoodoo place a while back. Um, and it is what I have. I have um, chrysanthemum flower. I have, I think this is skull cap. I have, oh, one of these is um, chamomile. I think this one is chamomile. And then I have like these little random jars. And I have some that um, is lemongrass, peppermint, and rosemary from our garden, which is so good and iced tea. So I have that. You know, I got my matcha tea and all that if I really want some energy. Like, you know, and I'm trying to get off the coffee thing. I really could just do matcha tea. Um, started back with the golden milk at night. So... <laughs> That's a good thing, right? And um, every day at lunch, I've just been doing my uh, smoothies. So for like today, I did the Collagen Beauty. I did like a scoop of this, which is like strawberry lemonade. I put some strawberries in my um, Ninja like cup, frozen strawberries with the Bellway Fiber, um, plant-based protein. Y'all, this is so good. This is so freaking good to me. I did taste so good. The kids have been tearing up the chocolate. And I get those um, protein shakes from Sam's or Costco. It's the ones that don't have dairy in them. I just mix it in with that, girl. I got extra protein. And I've been feeling really good. I've already cooked dinner for the day. They're having um, broccoli, some rice, some lemon lemon pepper rice, and some salmon. And they're going to have um, salad on the side. Energy level on 10, friend. I'm feeling good. Anyway, let me tell you what I've been doing. I've been allowing myself one coffee in the morning, a bunch of water all day, and like I said, my smoothie at lunch, and I've been drinking my teas all day. I find that if I drink tea and I put like, um, what is this, like one of these Sativa packs like this, or if I put um, a little bit of agave in it, I could just drink it. And then once it's not hot anymore, because I normally make a lot, right, this big cup, then I'll add ice, and it's like my iced tea. But I'm not putting sugar and all that stuff in it. And I'm loving it. I'm just saying, yeah, I feel so good. I hope y'all can feel this. I feel it so good. So anyway, my order just came in today for some more teas that I ordered um, loosely from the Hoodoo store. I'll put her down below. Um, this is hibiscus. I got five ounces of hibiscus, y'all. Hibiscus tea. Y'all already know that Mexican tea. What is that, Mexican punch? I'm, I'm not drinking liquor right now. <laughs> but I'm just saying, this is hibiscus, hibiscus leaves. Um... And this is like the best tea. Yeah. Mm, I love it. All right. So I just mix that either with a peppermint or something like that for like flavor. But you just let it steep for a while with some hot water. And then, you know, pull it out like a tea ball or a strainer. And um, like this. And some hot water. Just put it in like something like this and let it sit for a while. And then take it off your cup. And then voila, you got tea, right? Trying to get away from tea packets, even though we have a million of them because my kids drink tea every night. I'm just trying to do more of the loose leaf, right? So then I'm trying this for the first time. This one is the ginger, the raw ginger. I've never done like raw ginger uh, with dried ginger tea. So she sent me this. I mean, I paid for it. Let me not say she sent it to me. I paid for this. <laughs> I can kind of smell this a little bit. This is, I like these packets. You know what? I was going to do a ton of jars in my um, cabinet. I think I'm going to order these off of Amazon, label them, and just put my teas in these like bags like this. 
I mean, I, I'm going to use them. All right. So then lastly, I ordered orange peel. And y'all know this is going to be good. Ginger, orange peel, and um, hibiscus. That's what this looks like. It's going to be so good. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just ready. I just been trying some stuff. I also got some lavender um, sage to burn too. Like I need more sage. I know I got about 20, 24 of them rolls. But I think this is a neat idea just to put them in here. I think I want them in jars though. Because I want to make sure it's sealed. So I might just put them in jars. But anyway. And label them. Because um, I'll, I'll probably always buy like the same kind over and over. I forget the name of this one, but this one right here makes me go straight to sleep. I forgot what I said this one was called, but this makes me feel a little, a little wonky, <laughs> and I just go straight to sleep. So anyway, that's what I've been doing. I just want to share that with you all. I've been trying to get rid of some of the coffee and drink some tea. I'm about to make some right now. It's four o'clock, and what it does, it helps me like um, with my appetite too, so... Yeah, I'll show you what it looks like in a minute. Okay, so you know what um, ginger snap cookies smell like? That's what this smells like. Like straight up ginger snap cookies. That is so freaking crazy. This is what this looks like. That's crazy. So I'm just putting a little bit in here. Actually, I'll probably put a lot. I love ginger. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to get the jar. Even though this does take the air out of it. I don't know. Oh, man, it smells so good. So. Oh, wow. So, this is the um, orange pills. And, you know, each one of them has a different benefit, too. You know. Oh, this is going to be so good. I'm just saying. And then this is hibiscus. And then this is so good. Look how pretty this is. This is so beautiful. It's so, um, like, it's a jewel tone colored flower. So, yeah. This is going to be so freaking good. So this, that's not the fake ginger. <laughs> My mouth is on fire. This thing is strong. Okay. Oh, it's strong, strong, but it's good. So I'm out. I just wanted to share with you all some new teas, some new herbs I got in. I've been trying to up my herb game collection, okay? I'm just trying to um, get more herbs and more natural stuff back into my body. I'm just really refusing to do this 30-day fast, like this 30-day fast I did years ago. I kind of documented it on here maybe six, seven years ago. If you scroll back, you'll see, <laughs> but... Um, I like food. I like food. And I think you can have an even balance of both. And I think what's going to help me is um, once I get my palate changed, when I'm back to craving like all these fruits and vegetables and these drinks and, and my body's not craving carbs and I just want like tea and green juice or whatever, I think I'll be on track. You know what I'm saying? But um, anyway, I'm dealing with uh, some issues on my lips too, y'all. Wearing that mask the whole time in California. The um, paper of the blue mask, I can't wear them, evidently. I'm allergic to it. So, how about that? Anyway, I'm out. Hope y'all have an amazing day. Hope you can feel this energy through the screen, friend. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace. Hey, y'all. What's up? Welcome back. So, I'm about to do a quick DIY um, project in my backyard. Just finished with the grass. Look how thick this grass is. This don't make no dang on sense. Like, no sense. It was so thick and tall. Um, Christopher couldn't do it, so I had to do it for him. Um, we're supposed to be taking all the poles down off the trampoline and just leaving it open. Sometime today and tomorrow. I don't know, I might just call somebody to do it for me. Get a, um, a handyman do it for me. Um, 
what else so we're gonna do a quick diy just something like a planner with some cement just so i can put my um umbrella base in this umbrella is it over there it's on the ground uh there's an the umbrella that goes over there with the hammock i'm gonna order another hammock too because i want to show just watch that one too but uh so the kids can have two hammocks over there with an umbrella in the middle i'm gonna order another one so i'm gonna do one pot there and then a pot over here by this side of the fence i'm gonna do like the cement with the dirt or whatever with the flowers so that we can put the umbrella base in there because our umbrella base keep breaking i don't know what's going on it's loud out here i'm sorry but um let me show you what i got so i have these pots y'all know i have a bunch of these so i got this pot you can get these for like 14 15 bucks lows um home depot i have some centronella plants that i'm gonna put one on each side over here i'm gonna fill this with cement water stirred i'm gonna use this base which is like what is this uh, maybe 15 20 pound base maybe i don't know it's gonna go in here <clears throat> or maybe it won't i thought it was gonna fit oh shoot so i have some dirt and i have the quick concrete i think this one's 50 pounds Something like that. I'm only gonna probably have to use half. I don't have to use the whole. Girl, that's heavy. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna mix this in. So you know, uh, most umbrella poles are the same um, size, like the regular your nine, ten foot poles. So the base part, you just always have to just replace the top of the umbrella when you buy umbrellas if you still have your pole. Just a little tidbit, girl. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to do this on top of here. I got to figure this out. It, either way, you'll see the result. Girl, this thing is dirty. This needs to be washed. Let me go wash this. Alright, so I did finish this one. So it has the cement at the bottom, centronella up top. It's a little messy back here, y'all, because we haven't really cleaned up. But um, so this big one right here covers this seating area. I'm actually getting another one, <laughs> but that covers that one. And then there's one right here. So I'm going to get more plants for this one, but this one has the cement too. And they're not like these poles aren't going anywhere at all. I know it's hot, so you can probably barely see uh, the sun so bright. Yeah, so yeah, umbrellas are what, 50 bucks, 59, something like that. So I need to water this poor garden. We're trying to turn it over to fall, so it's been a chore. Look at all those peppers back there. We really need to pick all those peppers tomorrow. Um, yeah. We need to pick this okra child. I don't know why okra growing so late over here, but it's growing. Yeah, shoot. I still don't know what that is. 